So guys, with all that sorted, I'm headed down to the MOT station. And I'm just happy that I can give back, so thank you for the support. Rob, all love, man. The transformation on this car is so crazy. Good morning, Salvage Nation squad. Welcome back to another episode from Salvage Nation. Thank you for getting involved in the last episode on this car, which is a 2018 Mercedes C43. <laughs> I made that mistake and said C45 last time, but it's a C43 and we did some amazing work in the last episode. And I've also done a giveaway because the channel has crossed the 1 million view mark. And I just want to say this to all of my real fans and real people who follow me day in, day out, and you leave your comments and you watch. Like, I just want to say thank you. Like, anytime I'm going through anything in life at home now, and I know it sounds so cliche, but I've come to kind of like rely on you guys and for feedback. And I've noticed something. I've been going through something recently, um, a family matter, so I'm not going to go too deep into it and sometimes like looking forward to dropping videos, working on the videos, editing, and then watching your comments, your positive comments, your positive feedback, positive reinforcement. Trust me, it really helps me getting through all of this mess and all of the issues outside of YouTube and, 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 it, and it kind of crosses over like I, I really really like that and I just want to say thank you like <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling on but I just want you guys to know that it's, it's a hundred percent genuine what I'm saying that I really really appreciate each and every one of you right with that said let me tell you the plan now later on in this episode it's now day one let's call it day one of this episode we're going to be filming this episode over a few days and at some point i will pause and i will be announcing the winner i might be giving it to them i'm not sure how it's going to pan out but you will be seeing the winner of that giveaway but for now if you have a look at this box these are in this box that's the rollover bars um, new rollover bar protection these are brand new and i've also got a cover in there as well and a ton of seat belts and a ton of stuff so in this episode we're going to be sorting out all of this mess all of this headache putting everything back together on the interior getting the car looking nice and hopefully we're going to be getting rid of some of those airbag lights and just go through all the diagnostic side of things um have a look at the bonnet we've removed the bonnet because we took our time and we went ahead and we sanded down both wings we sanded down and flatted down the complete front end um, and check out the bonnet here we've got the bonnet on the stand we've been doing some work to the bonnet and this bonnet is looking so so nice so so clean and we're trying to get the best paint match as possible now white is notoriously difficult to match because if you imagine this part of the car this has been exposed to the elements since 2018 and we've just laid down fresh brand new paint but i think we've done a really really good match so for example i don't know if you can see that this is the original paint we haven't painted we haven't painted this hatch this is the rear boot that we replaced now we try to get it as close as possible and i know it might not be a hundred percent like no new paint job will ever be like a hundred hundred percent but i think that's pretty close and i'm very happy with that Alright you guys, so have a look, I've taken a little bit of a break just to show you what I've done and I was going to put this panel on but then I just realised something, but check it out, rollover bars have been installed, one, two, three nuts on that side, three nuts on that side as well and I've plugged in the airbag um, connector, so these two connectors, the yellow connectors, they go to the airbag module 
and that's what's responsible for making them pop. So once I connect this to the diagnostic machine, now with the new ones that have not been deployed, everything is in, everything's plugged in, that airbag light should go off, pinned in these. I need to replace these seat belts and I was gonna put this cover on, but then I just realized if I put this on, it's just gonna make it a bit more difficult to put that seat belt on. So before I put that, I need to go down there. If you look down the tunnel, remove this seat belt here. It's gonna come up through this little gap and it's gonna feed into this little slot like that. And then I can put this cover back onto the car. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and just get these old seat belts out. The previous owner, when he had the car before it got to the garage, he cut them. You don't cut these guys. These are so expensive, you normally just remove the screws and you send them off to get repaired. But he went ahead and cut them and he went ahead and bought some new ones. So we're gonna go get those swapped out into the car. Man, oh man, guys, we've gone ahead and we fitted the new rear seat belts. I went ahead and I completed the entire assembly for this rear section of the car and it literally just looks so nice now. This rear windshield is working. You press a button, it goes down. You press another button and it comes up. This one is linked to this one right here and those two are working. Everything is now looking nice. We haven't got that big old hole from the rollover bar protection from the previous one that was ripped through and this is just like a dashboard. So we've gone ahead and we've changed all of that. New rollover protection is in and I went ahead and I cleared everything on the diagnostic so now the interior of the car is really coming together um, it's just a few other bits that I need to tidy up which I can do off camera put the other seat back in and just put these little lumbar supports back in as well but everything has been swapped out um, the previous owner as I said he went ahead and cut these seat belts but you don't have to you can actually remove them by removing one big bolt down there and sending them off to get repaired because these seat belts are like a hundred to two hundred pounds each and these are the red ones as well so they're even more expensive so that's a shame but however it's what's done is done but guys just check out the car now like everything on this car is coming full circle if i come outside have a look at the front end everything is looking nice on the front end and in this episode i've got something else to add to that front end to make it look even nicer but we're going to be doing a full body polish i've already removed these trim pieces so we can access all of this dirt and grime have a look at that and we're going to be doing a full cut and polish on the entire body of the car but have a look at everything now man like, i can't stop saying that everything just looks amazing on this car i also went ahead and i used my diagnostic tool here you've seen me use that so many times i cleared all the faults on the airbag light um and i am happy to announce that there is no more airbag light check this out we do need some petrol however but 
Once the car starts up, the airbag light, as you've seen, went on. I'll do that again so you can see. So ignition on, that's the airbag light right there. And then as you can see, the system does its checks and it goes off. Before that was on, and before we had lots of writing here saying about there's a fault on the anti-roll bar system, there's a fault here, there's a fault there. Now, if I close the door, it just tells me I need to change the batteries. Okay, service is overdue, fuel reserve, we know that. But have a look, zero messages. There's no messages, there's no issues in the diagnostic system of the car. Everything is fine. Seatbelt grabber is working. I call it the seatbelt grabber. I'm sure there's another word for it, but that's all working. My new seatbelt is no longer locked up. And as you can see, I can go ahead and put this on and everything is all good. Now check this out. This car has got heated seats. Look at this button here. This button is actually for the air scarf. And if you look inside there, you can see it's actually got a little radiator inside and I can feel it shooting that hot air around my neck. And it only works when the roof is down, but I just think that's so nice. And if you look at the back, right there, you can actually see the two fans inside and they're spinning away. I can feel it. You should be able to see the two fans in there. And it just gives you a bit of hot air around your neck and they call it an air scarf. So I just think that is little things like this just makes me happy, man. Like little things like that. So guys, we're making great progress, but there's still a lot more to do. And in the few boxes in the back, I've got a set of side skirts, I've got a front lip, and I've got some other bits to make the exterior of the car look even nicer. I am telling you, the grand reveal on this build right now is gonna be crazy. But no more talking, let's get those bits out and get them on the car. So guys, guys, listen, it's a few days later and if you look in the background, the car is, oh my God, the transformation on this car is so crazy. We've done so much to the car so far. I wanna show you all the little bits and bobs that we've done to really transform the look of this Mercedes C45 AMG. Check it out. Just 
take a look at that front end now. We've taken it from the standard C43 front end, which was a very nice looking front end, but we've made it super aggressive, in my opinion, with this C63 front end. We've got those double slated grills. We've got the more aggressive front bumper, but take a look at this carbon fiber splitter that has just literally just transformed the front end on this car. Um, moving along, we've completely de-chromed everything. So all the badges have been swapped out to these black Mercedes badges there. On the side, the bi-turbo badges are all blacked out. Wing mirrors all blacked out. But off camera, we actually sent the car down to a company called Polymax in East London, and they completely, they wrapped all of the chrome trims. I've still got to replace these two trims because we tinted the car as well. The owner of the car wanted to apply a light tent on the front. And as you can see, you can still see my hand through the tents as well. So it's not that dark, but we will put that on. Um, I think it's like one more day we have to leave this to cure. But moving along, this is what the trim is going to look like. If you remember, this was aluminium. This was like a bright alloy trim all the way around. But it's all been de -chromed. It just looks really, really nice, really, really smart. Check out the AMG logo. This is the one. A lot of people got onto me. Oh, you didn't remove the badge. We knew we were going to be changing this badge. This is a new gloss black Mercedes badge that goes onto the boot. And have a look. It's literally just transformed the rear end of the car. But for now, Guys, the car is coming together. Guys, take a look. This is the centerpiece of this interior now. This carbon fiber digital. This is the new style digital um, steering wheel. Now, the old style have got big LEDs right there. This one's got tiny little LEDs, and I think it's 30. Um, I'm not sure the exact spec, but all the little touch buttons still work, and this is amazing. <laughs> Just take a look at that airbag. That's that Alcantara, and I'm told that this will still perform to all the safety measures as the original unit. Um, and look, Alcantara, red stitching, and it matches what came in the car. Alcantara, red stitching, and it literally just brings everything together. All the car needs now is a nice clean on the interior, and that's gonna be all good. Now guys, apart from all the visual stuff, another thing that we went ahead and done, we went ahead and we got them to do a res delete at the request of the owner. He wanted the car to be a bit louder, so have a look. Once I start it up, actually, where is the key? You can really hear the difference now. It's a proper difference now. That now sounds worthy to wear the AMG badge. Just listen to that growl. That now, it sounds like a proper AMG. So now it looks the part and now it sounds the part. And speaking of key, have a look. Like this owner, he's a car guy. He's car mad just like me. Look at this key cover and it's securely screwed in there like this is the keyless fob it's securely screwed in there and i just think that looks so classy have a look at that but the car has been warmed up so before you jump down we have started the car before this and look that is also closed so we open it now Now look at everything, it literally, now the car sounds and looks the part. Look at everything guys and let me know what you think of what we have done. You've seen this car come to Salvage Nation in a wreck, in a state. We repaired all the damage and we've added that little bit of gold dust on the top to really, really set it off. And we're going to be doing a few more bits. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. In this episode, we're going to be completing all of this and the owner is going to be collecting it. However guys, before we continue working away on that car, if you remember in the last episode, on this build, I told you that Salvage Nation had just crossed the 1 million views mark as a channel um, and I've only been going for a year so I'm really excited about that and I did a giveaway for these carbon fiber inserts. Well, this is where I'm going to announce the winner of that giveaway and the winner is a guy that goes by the name of Big Ack and guess what, Big Ack has got a crazy looking BMW M3 G80 I believe it is and guess what, he is coming down to Salvage Nation right now and I'm going to be personally checking out his car, giving him these new carbon fibre inserts thanks to the guys over at Carbon Accents and he's going to be coming down and being on the channel so I'm happy, this is the first time that I'm actually doing a giveaway where I'm going to meet the winner, he's come down from I think Berkshire so he's driven all the way down all he I told him all he needs to do is turn up I'm gonna fit these we're gonna check out his car we're gonna have a little bit of fun and then we're gonna continue getting this bad boy all done I've got to take that to MOT so <laughs> will it pass MOT I guess you have to stay tuned to find out
Guys, we got man like Ak. Ak was big brother, or little brother, I should say. <laughs> but Ak has brought down his BMW M3. You're the winner, bro. Yeah, man, I appreciate that, man. How long have you been subscribed to the channel? For a minute, you know that? Yeah? Yeah, I was telling you, you're all struggling with um, and co -pops. Yeah. And your, your channel must have just popped off, so I've just been watching it since. I man. like that, bro. That's what I like, I like to give back, innit? So guys, I hope you enjoyed those slow motion shots as I was saying, and we're getting straight to work. Whilst they're there catching up and talking cars, we all love cars here, me and Aki, we're gonna go ahead and get these custom carbon fiber inserts, thanks to the guys from Carbon Accents, installed onto his car, because like I said, he's the winner of the Salvage Nation giveaway, and this is what it's all about. Alright guys, so it's getting very busy in there. Have a look. That's the finished product, bro. What do you think? Yeah, all good. Sweet. I don't think you need the carbon splitter on it, man. Like I feel like black at the bottom, carbon in the middle, black on the top. It really sets it off. And I'm just happy that I can give back. So thank you for the support, bro. All love, man. So guys, how sick was Big Ack and his big BMW M3? And trust me, man, it feels so good to be able to give away, give back to you guys who spend your time and your effort to follow Salvage Nation and to watch us. So I hope you enjoyed that. But now it's time to get back to this bad boy because we're finishing this build in this episode. And I've got an MOT test booked for the next hour. But before we head off, the owner wanted to fit this. He loves these, he's a car guy just like me. And it's these little fine touches that really matter. And this is an AMG badge that lights up at night. Or it lights up whenever you switch it on but I need to put it in and I need to wire it in. And what I plan to do is I plan to tap into the headlights. So it's got automatic lights. So whenever the automatic headlights kick in, I want this to come on. This is not gonna be seen in the day. It's gonna be at nighttime. So whenever those headlights come on, I want this to come on and it's really easy. Um, it's come with these little pins and it's come with a socket. I'm gonna get some wire, do a custom wiring loom, tap into the headlight wiring loom plus a negative so that whenever they get power, this will get power. So I'm gonna put you on the time lapse, get that done, get the car out, get it to the MOT, get it washed, and you're gonna get a final review of everything. So, let go! Guys, with all that sorted, I'm headed down to the MOT station. I don't know if you can hear that, the car sounds amazing. Everything seems to be working fine. 
it's not leaking any fluids, it's holding temperature, it feels smooth, it just needs a bit of tracking, but the steering wheel feels amazing. Have a look at the top, you can see it has got some power to it. It is boosting nicely and it sounds amazing now that the resonator has been deleted. But yeah, I've got a MOT booked in, it's insured, so I'm legally going to get some MOT and then we're gonna wash it up. And yeah, I'll give you a better tour once the MOT is done. So I'm gonna check in with you, hopefully once we pass MOT. So guys, there you have it. You have seen a long old slug on the Mercedes C43 build and it has come to an end. Unfortunately, it's leaving the channel, that's it. But when one build goes, <laughs> another build starts. And if you wanna see what this is, let's say it's red for more than one reason. It's, it was hiding a lot of junk in this car and there's a lot that we've done already and we haven't even started yet. But if you want to see more, you're going to have to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for when I post this. But as you've just seen in this episode, we put all the finishing touches on the 2018 Mercedes C43 build. And this thing has come out looking super fire. You let me know what you think in the comments down below. We've taken it from a wreck. We've reconstructed the rear end. We've upgraded the front end with that C63 front end. And then we just went ahead and we just gave it the little salvage nation touch with all the mods. and. It it was good collaborating with the owner and yeah, I'm happy with the way it came out. Let me know what you think of all the bits we've added. Let me know what you think of the rear wing. Let me know what you think of the rear and the front splitter. Just let me know what you think full stop. This has been a bombshell of an episode and it's been a bombshell of a build and we're only getting started. So there's more to come and trust me, next week we're gonna be dropping episode one on this bad boy and we're gonna be getting stuck in. This is something special once again. So this is where we're gonna end this episode. I hope you guys have a lovely bank holiday weekend. I'm gonna be dropping episode one on this new build i want to say a massive thank you to today's sponsors and long-term sponsors of salvage nation carbon accents remember guys if you want to get anything from their website you can use discount code salvage 10 and you'll receive 10 percent off this is where we're going to head off so like i always say keep it moving i'll see you in the next one
Guys, thank you for watching. Click here to see what YouTube thinks you should watch. Click here to watch one of my previous episodes. And like it said there, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We out.